Good morning, Eric. Vito. How are you, buddy? Nice to see you. Good to see you. What's going on? Well, I'm here to have a look-see at the uh, sewer plant here. Okay. I mean, is this not a good time? I mean, it is early in the morning. Nantucket wastewater plant. Actually, I'm receiving a fax. This is probably going to be one of those um, um, stock things. Oh, junk Yeah, fax? junk faxes. Oh, gosh. Well, while so, that comes We'll through, just let it go through. Let me yeah. ask you something. How many guys you got working out here? We have five. Uh, there's me, uh, the chief operator. I have the assistant chief operator, Robert Ingalls, and three operators, Marty Stone, um, Brian Walsh, and Brian Popke. And they're always, are they here now? Yeah, it's a five-man crew. We're here all the time. You got five pumps, you uh, facilities. No, we have, let's see, we have C Street, uh, which is the main one, Surfside Station over by Manny Diocese, um, Cato Lane, which is on the corner of Roberts Lane and Cato Lane. Uh, there's one in Pine Valley, um, Old South Road, and at the airport. So that's uh, six stations in town, plus what's happening in Wisconsin. All the gravity sewer of the whole town, everything else is on septic. And we have, there are four septic haulers in town, and, and they'll pump out a house and bring it out here and discharge it. This panel here is the, it's, it's an MCC panel. It, it shows all the machinery that's in the facility, and it shows what's running, what's not running, uh, it has alarms, and just we can basically monitor the whole facility from here. What does that mean right there uh, in, in which, the scheme of it all? Well, the at, red there. At this, that's, that's the actual flow coming in at that instantaneous moment. So right now, uh, if it stayed on that mark, we would be taking in a million and a half gallons a day. Now, that'll fluctuate over the course of a day. I'll show you yesterday's chart. Uh, at 7 o'clock, people start waking up. Busy. And it, 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 it goes up. Um, and then by the evening, it's very slow. And in through here is... Uh, the laboratory where we do all the state, uh, all, all the testing for state certification and uh, state reporting. We do a number of tests. We do a bio, biochemical oxygen demand, which is a rather archaic test that was uh, developed in England back in the 1700s, which measured the amount of oxygen in the water on one particular day, and then five days later measured the oxygen again to see how much the uh, how much oxygen was be being depleted from the water, which told you the strength of the, the pollution in the water. Um, basically, w water at 20 degrees Celsius has about nine milligrams per liter of oxygen in it, and strong sewage will use that oxygen up in a heartbeat. So the idea that the solution to pollution is dilution was totally inaccurate because it was, uh, it was, they were dumping it into the rivers and it was just using up the oxygen and the river died and the fish died and everything that was living died. And that's why we have a plant here. That's why we have facilities all over the, all over the country. There are about 30 acres total and um, the facility uses whoo, probably 20 of them. We have 10 one-acre infiltration beds, which is the last stage of the process. And the buildings and grounds uh, take up another 10 acres or so. It's, it's pretty sparsely laid out. It was, uh, it was laid out to look like a village. This area here is the uh, septic receiving area. All the septic haulers come in and deposit their waste in this, in this uh, box, it has a bar screen in it, and it gets held in a holding tank, and then it uh, gets pumped up and goes through the process. This is uh, where the, all the sewage comes in. So this is called the influent. And we take samples here, and we also take samples at the effluent. And we compare the two to find out how much removal we're getting. So that's, that's, the, that's raw sewage? This, right is, this is raw sewage. Sewage 
is 99.5% 90, liquid. There is 0.5% solids in all sewage. During the summertime, we add chlorine at this stage to help knock the odor down. Right. Uh, and it does pretty well lately. We haven't had too many odor complaints this summer. You know, a couple of random ones. So that's what keeps the odor down. That chlorine helps keep the odor down. And also during the summertime, from May 15th through October 15th, we add some chemicals which help gather the solids together so that they settle out by gravity. In the summertime, we add aluminum, an aluminum salt and polymer. And the two, the combination of the two, gathers the solids together so that they will settle out by gravity. So our effluent is a much cleaner effluent, and it percolates through the beds much better. And ergo, the, this, this keeps the smell down. What's now, the effluent? The effluent is the final product. Is that it, uh, that bed out there? That, that's Where the seagull is? Yeah, that bed is online. So the effluent is going to that bed, and it percolates into, into the groundwater, which is a type 3 groundwater, which is sort of brackish. Um, not affecting anyone's drinking water. And it, the, the groundwater basically goes toward the ocean. Now, you see these all over yep. the country, these, these kinds of laid out forms. And the, I, you know, I, what's some the whole idea? Some of them are round, some of them are rectangular. Right. They're clarifiers. The water comes from the headworks and by gravity flows into these clarifiers where it's actually very still. It's, it's flowing through there at a, a very slow rate. It takes, it takes uh, say, a molecule of water about six hours to go from this end to that end. So this is where the gravity process is. The solids are settling out by gravity, and the cleaner water is going over the weirs at the end uh, into the effluent. Watch this for a while, you'll start to see the solids settling to the bottom fairly rapidly. Uh, you can start to see them cluster together a little bit. Uh, and it'll take about, you know, five, ten minutes, but after that you'll have the solids down here and fairly clear water up top, which is, and this is uh, basically what's happening in the clarifiers. Yeah. And it's, it's the little particles are being gathered together and being hit with polymer, and they will start to settle out gradually as, as the water goes out that way. These bars, which are called flights, are moving at a rate of uh, about a foot every minute. Oh, they are moving. And they're going very slowly across the top, which is pulling anything that floats like grease and that type of product all the way down to the end, where we'll, I'll, I'll show you how we take that off. And then the, the flights go underneath, and they pull the solids, which have settled to the bottom, back to this end, where they drop into a, some hoppers, and we, uh, we pump that out. It's called sludge. We hold it in holding tanks, and then we dewater it uh, and take that sludge to the dump. Now, as I said, these flights are pushing, oh, yeah, look at all that. Yeah, pushing the grease and, and anything that floats to this end of the uh, clarifier. And basically once a day, we'll take this grease and, and skim it with these, with these skimmers. I'll, sh I'll show you what it does. Oh, yeah. We try to take as little water as we can. I'll have to wait till that gets back up to the trough before I do another one. But we do this about once a day. Keeps the grease down. Yep. Now, how come I don't see toilet paper and paper products and stuff like that? It's probably biodegradable. Just, By the time it got here, it's... Yeah, because this travels about two miles from C Street, and it's in a force main, so it's, it's being pushed and being agitated, and it just all breaks up into little particles. You know, the smell isn't that bad. Well, that's... I, I, really, it's not that bad. It isn't, you know, I mean, my nose is somewhat adapted to it, but I can smell it when it's bad, and it's, but this is what we have to do in the summertime.
You ever like Look, he's get here and see stuff in in this thing and go, man, why do people throw that down the toilet? <laughs> Uh, Does that ever happen, or is it all pretty Yeah, I, f I found a, a gold bracelet, and uh, one of the guys has found a brooch that I think we got $2,000 for, yeah, and you wonder, I'm not kidding. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> keep that in mind before you throw anything out. Somebody's going to get it, huh? Yeah.